go on to uh, the next game. Welcome back, everybody. This is set number three between Air Force Ace and uh, Team 8 in the SK Planet Pro League 2011-2012, and I have a YouTube ad. Ha! Ah! I have taken care of that. So, set number three is going to be a ZVZ. It's going to be GG Amo for Team... Uh, or for Air Force Ace, rather, and Killer for Team 8. So I don't know if I should add the clock positions uh, to my overlay. Anyway, let's actually see what positions they are. So top left, the Red Zerg is going to be... Oh, doing an interesting scout, by the way. Looks like that's GG Amo. I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, so Killer will be the Yellow Zerg in the top right. It seems that the uh, Observer has chosen allied colors. So... <clears throat> okay, so hopefully that's clear <laughs> on my overlay. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so so that overlord scouting pattern. Um, wait a minute, now that I think about it, does that make sense in ZBZ? So GG Amo's overlord is going towards the center of the map, Killer's overlord is going in the correct direction, so he's going to have the scouting advantage right off the bat. You see, the thing is, the scouting pattern that GG Amo was doing, going towards the center, like, if this was another matchup like ZVT or ZVP, there's an easy explanation, which is that he's looking for the scouting worker that the Protoss or Terran's going to send out, and if he sees it, he can change direction immediately and go and scout his opponent, and if he doesn't see anything, then he just picks a random direction. But is he actually just going to uh, scout cross-map? Uh... I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Bok, are you? Bok, are you? Help me out here. Bok, you help me out. Okay, okay, good. Excellent. Bok, okay, so Bok, you says, scouting cross map means that uh, you don't give away your location early on. And means that he's most likely going for a 12 patch. And Bok, are you calling it perfectly? Except that was a 9. Wait, when did they. No, 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 that was a 12 patch. Yes? Huh. Wow. Block you, that's really smart. Nice. Meanwhile, Killer has gone for... What was that? Over pool speed? Possibly 12 pool? Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy freaking out. Okay, and it looks like that was a 12 pool expand. Pretty safe build. And, uh, yeah. So, 12 pool against 12 hatch. That uh, gives GG Amo the advantage off the bat. But the thing is, though, he took the back expansion with this hatchery, and that's a mineral only, which is not going to be nearly as useful as uh, as a gas base in ZVZ. And, uh, and so there's the overlord going in here. Now, I think Killer should be able to tell from the timing of the spawning pool that it was a 12 hatch, but he's probably going to be a little bit confused because he didn't actually see the hatchery at the natural there. So, uh... See, I'm wondering what he's thinking now. So he, he, he must know that it's a 12 patch, but he doesn't know where the hatchery is, so he's going to go over to the third now. He's going to check out the third. And his lings are on the way. Now, GG Emo's lings are going to be in time to defend. But, uh... Hmm. This is very weird. By, I, I wonder if GG Emo is just going to like uh, do a ling all in. I mean, I, I imagine that's what he's doing, because taking the, the 12 patch, doing the 12 patch at your mineral only rather than the gas base is really suboptimal compared to uh, taking a gas base. And I mean, now now Killer's gonna see it. And look at this, Killer actually snuck out, uh, stuck two links around. Very, very clever right there. Can he get a drone? That's the question. And looks like, oh man, looks like four links getting caught there in the middle of the map. But now, since two of their buddies already went into the main base, there are only four of them left. Yay, I can do arithmetic. And oh, they're going after a drone. Will they get it? Oh, click on the drone, man. Click on the drone. It's like two lings still staying alive here. They are surrounded on all sides. And it looks like speed has finished, though. So uh, it will be a little while before those slow lings can catch them. I don't know what the progress of GG Amo's speed is. 
And looks like he has gone for a lair, so it's not it's not a Ling all in from GG Amo. But that's gonna put him really far behind. Like even though, you know, twelve hatches will supposedly give him a slight edge against the twelve pool, since Killer just took his natural with his expansion, like eventually once he's taken that second gas, he's gonna have a the gas lead over GG Amo and and that's really what counts. I mean once they get up to Spire Tech, the, the gas is really all that counts. Uh, rather than the minerals. And look at this, the, the observer showing GG Amo is not even actually mining from that base. So that hatchery is really not doing anything. I mean, it could have just he could have just made it in his main base and it would have had the same effect. Uh, all it's doing is giving him extra larva. And he has made a decent number of lings now. I'm wondering if this is actually a ling all in. I wonder if the lair was actually... Well, no, I mean, you get a spire. This, this build from GG Amo is just really confusing me. Uh, I am... I'm just so confused, and, and and look at this. See, Killer knows. Killer knows he has the advantage. He's just he's just you know playing defensive, playing safe. He's got a sunken. He's building an evolution chamber uh, to help block. I think his fire is going to be done in time. He doesn't actually need that for spores. I think that was just to uh, Sim City his sunken a little bit, unless I am grievously mistaken. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this is, this is really confusing. And it looks like he actually cancelled the Evolution Chamber, realizing he didn't actually need it. Juhun looking on, serious face. And there's the Spire finished for GG Amo, but it looks like he didn't actually save Larva. Were those Larva all used before the Spire finished? I think that's what the Observer is showing. Uh, that would be very bizarre. And look at this, Killer just constantly making and cancelling that uh, Evolution Chamber. Not constantly, I guess that's the second time he did it. But yeah, those were actually just links. he didn't actually save Larva. Okay, no, the second set of Larva were Scourge, so it looks like some kind of weird attack here. Scourge... Uh, Ling, not not that weird. Uh, I would imagine he's gonna go after, or perhaps try and catch the mutas as they pop. But these Ling, this Ling attack is just not gonna work at all. It looks like though. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, it's gonna be so close. It is actually so close. It's down to three Zerglings left, and the Scourge coming in here. Actually, GG Amo. Never mind. The timing might have been perfect, but no, it looks like it wasn't quite. The Scourge were just seconds too late, and uh, Killer is able to micro against the Scourge and clean up all of the Zerglings, but he's got very, very few Mutals left. It looks like only one or two, and it looks like GG Amo actually just went into an Overlord there. Did he go into an Overlord? Or so I don't know, something blew up or something. I'm not really sure. But Killer showing off some very nice micro, and, uh, and the teammates, uh, <laughs> teammates looking pretty happy there. It looks like... GG Amo does now have some mutas of his own out. You know, I was just thinking, uh, I think uh, Killer actually played that really nice ZVZ against Crazy Hydra in uh, in last week's matches. Uh, I think he won that with, with some despite his build order uh, disadvantage as well, so... He's got some pretty good ZVZ, I guess. Anyway, so mutas are out now, but there's a couple of Scourge. GG Amo, how good is his muta, Michael? He's got a one away because of those Scourge. Looks like he's sending in Lings at the same time, trying to do the multi-pronged attack. And it looks like he's actually uh, kind of successful here. He did send in more Lings than Killer had. So Killer has to pull back his Mutas, just leaving the Scourge there to chase the Mutas away. Uh, so this has at least kind of disrupted mining a little bit for Killer. But I think Killer still has the, the air advantage, the Muta advantage. And and as I said, I mean, he's, he's got the natural gas up. So um, he's just going to slowly, slowly pull ahead in the air with that gas advantage. Uh, looks like going to go in here, poke an Overlord, actually just going to ignore it and go for the kill. Oh, man, he's got to be so careful with these Scourge not to hit an Overlord on accident. And it looks like he's actually managed to kill all of GG Amo's Scourge. GG Amo on the run from Killer's Scourge. Uh, Killer, meanwhile, getting free shots off with his Mutalisk. That's exactly how he wants to use him. And it looks like, oh no, he's just switching targets. He's going straight for the drone line. GG Amo's Mutas are running away. GG Amo's in a lot of trouble now. His, his drones are free pickings for these Mutalisks of Killer. Killer even going to grab one Mutalisk as it pops from the base. Killer. Killer looking serious, he knows he's in a good position, he's taking down all the drones on the gas, GG Amo in so much trouble here, I don't know what happened to his mutas, looks like he finally managed to micro down the scourge, he's bringing back the mutalisks, but is it too late, he's lost all of his drones, looks like he's sending lings running into the power generator thing, I don't even think that's what it's called, what is, it's like a... Uh, I can't remember, but it doesn't matter, he's lost all his drones, that's gonna be, that's gotta be game, there's no way he can win now. And there goes the last muta, it looks like Killer's gonna close this out 3-0, for Air Force Ace, or sorry, for <laughs> for Team 8, whoopsie daisies. <laughs> He's going to close it out for uh, for Team 8 here. GG Amo, unfortunately, not able to pull off a win for Air Force Ace. He's just trying to sneak some lings past, do what he can, but um, that's, that's just not going to happen. And look at that nice drone stack from Killer. One drone left, trying to run from Amuta. 
He's got no mining. Oh god, this is so sad. He's mining gas now. I think he just wants to make some scourge. Oh, this is so sad. Oh god, that poor drone. GG from GG Amo and Killer taking game three. Teammate 3-0ing Air Force Ace in under an hour. That was that was pretty quick. GG Amo not too happy. But as I predicted, I mean, teammate man, they're they're pretty good. They got some pretty sick baller nerds in their team. So. Uh, yeah, that, that is all for today's Pro League match. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, tune in tomorrow and the day after. I'm, I'm going to keep doing these. Uh, same time. Oh, but we do have one schedule change, so uh, tomorrow's match and Thursday's match are going to be 22 CET as normal. Uh, but Friday's match, I think that's KT Rollster versus SKT1. Uh, I have to postpone that because I have to do Gambit's Cup on Friday, so that'll be at the Saturday time slot instead of Friday. Uh, so that's... Yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, now I'm just going to play some games. It's The night is still young. It's time for me to uh, hit the ladder.